Now it's time to take activities one step further and introduce the principles of subprocesses. As we already know, there are different types of activities. We already learned about tasks and task markers in previous lessons. Besides that, BPMN also features so-called subprocesses and call activities. In this lecture, we will focus on subprocesses only. There are three different types of subprocesses. Embedded subprocesses, event subprocesses, and transactions. You can easily distinguish them by the style of their boundaries. An embedded subprocess is drawn with a single thin line and features a plus sign in a small square. Let's have a look at an example workflow. When eating at a restaurant, you first have to read the menu and select a meal. You will then place an order and wait for your meal to be served. After a hopefully short period of waiting, it's time to eat and pay. Let's put a container around these tasks and consider this a process. Um, let's give it a name and call it eat at restaurant. And note that there are no events in this example, because at this point we want to keep things as simple as possible. All right, let's transform this into an embedded subprocess. A subprocess is an activity whose internal details have been modeled using activities, gateways, events, and sequence flows, which is exactly what we just did. Right now, our subprocess is collapsed, which means the internal details are hidden. Think of the plus sign as a button to expand what's hiding behind the container. Let's expand our embedded subprocess. Now, the internal details are visible. Embedded subprocesses can be very handy when trying to model complex and large workflows. Sometimes it's better to hide information in order to focus on the essential message of a business process model. It makes it a lot easier to read and understand a given workflow. Next, let's have a look at event subprocesses. The boundary of event subprocesses are drawn with a thin dotted line. Event subprocesses are nested within other subprocesses. An event subprocess is always triggered by an event. Let's see how that works. In this example, we have a generic subprocess that contains another event subprocess. At some point during the execution of the process, an event took place which triggered the embedded event subprocess. Note that the event subprocess is expanded. That means we can see the internal details. This could be an incoming message um, or other um, triggers. The parent process can either be interrupted or continue its work. We call this not interrupted. In this example, the parent process is interrupted and therefore the token disappears. We will talk more about events in a later lecture. The third type of activities are transactions. A transaction is a specialized type of subprocess that will have a special behavior controlled by a transaction protocol. The boundary of a transaction is a thin double line. There are three basic outcomes of a transaction. In case of a successful completion, a normal sequence flow will leave the transaction subprocess. In case of a failed completion, that means the transaction was canceled. The third option is a hazard. This means something went terribly wrong and neither completion nor cancellation is possible. Let's have a look at an example. Let's assume a customer is trying to book a hotel online. In case of a successful booking, the customer will be sent an invoice and everything is fine. However, if for some reason the booking fails, a rollback is necessary, which might include an unavailability notice. In case of unexpected problems, maybe the database crashed, um, the customer is contacted via email in order to provide further guidance. All right, let's summarize what we just learned. Basically, there are three different types of subprocesses, embedded subprocesses, event subprocesses, and transactions. You can easily distinguish them by the start of their boundaries. Subprocesses are a great way of modeling more complex behavior within a regular process. The case studies at the end of this course are going to feature a lot of subprocesses, so stay tuned.